my name is Sarah. I'm a marine biologist on staff at That Fish Place, and welcome to our video on curing live rock. Curing live rock is the process of preparing newly harvested live rock from the ocean and getting it ready to use in your saltwater aquarium. As the rock is being harvested and transported, some of the organisms living on the rock probably won't survive, and this can cause a great deal of organic waste. If that waste is added directly to your tank, it could cause a high spike in your ammonia, which will pollute the conditions of your aquarium. The simple procedure I'm going to show you will help remove that organic material and make your rock safe to use in your aquarium, with plenty of clean space for nitrifying bacteria, macroalgae, and other creatures to thrive in your aquarium. The items you'll need to get started is a trash can or storage container deep enough to completely submerge the rock. You may have to get a container that holds at least 30 gallons. You need a heater that's large enough to maintain a temperature of 80 degrees a submersible pump to circulate the water. To clean the rock you'll need either a soft scrub brush or an old toothbrush could even work to clean the rock. You'll need a salt mix to mix up the water to put the rock in, a hydrometer and thermometer to make sure that the water is suitable conditions for the rock, and an ammonia test kit. The first step you want to do is mix up a batch of salt water. You want to make sure that you have enough water to completely submerge the live rock. You want to add the water heater and set it to 80 degrees. And you want to add the water pump to circulate the water. Once your water is at the proper temperature and salinity, the next step is to add the live rock. When you get your live rock, it's going to be packaged covered in damp newspaper. This is to keep all the nitrifying bacteria alive on the rock. So what you want to do is remove the newspaper before adding it into the water. You want to use your toothbrush or soft scrub brush to gently scrub some of the dead organic matter off the rock. You want to make sure not to scrub too tough, otherwise you're going to damage the rock or the items still living on there. After you scrub the live rock, you want to place it into the container. When putting it in there, make sure that you're careful not to set it on top of the heater and crack the heater. Once all the rock is in the container, you want to cover it, and this will help prevent any unwanted algae growth during the procedure. You want to change the water in the container about twice every week. Before changing the water, you want to test the ammonia, and once it reads zero parts per million, the rock is safe to put in your aquarium. This process can take anywhere from one to three weeks, depending on how your live rock is. If you have any questions on what you've seen here, or any other acquiring procedure, you can email us at marinebio at thatpetplace.com, or you can print a copy of this procedure on our Acclimation Procedures page at thatfishplace.com.